Tuvalu, a remote island nation in the Pacific, faces severe geographical and climatic challenges, making water resource management essential. With no surface water, Tuvaluan communities rely solely on groundwater and rainwater for their well-being. Unfortunately, groundwater is increasingly threatened by saltwater intrusion, rising sea levels, over-abstraction, storm surges, droughts and pollution. Climate change exacerbates these threats, jeopardizing the integrity of these vital resources. In response to the impact of climate changes and water security, SBC is supporting Tuvalu's government through the Managing Coastal Aquifers project. This initiative improves access to critical information and integrates community-based monitoring, empowering island and national governments to make informed and effective water management decisions. One of the activities of the MCAP project is the, what we refer to as CBM, which is a uh, program, uh, community-based monitoring of water resources and water quality. The team uh, collects uh, data from their communal uh, water resources on a regular basis. This data is then used for information that is provided to their community leaders to enable them to make decisions regarding water management, prepare for water-related disaster and other development planning. The CBM program is currently being carried out in the islands of Nanumea, Nui and Waitupu. There is a team of uh, 10 community volunteers from each of these islands, uh, consisting of Red Cross volunteers and some Kaupula staff who have been trained and provided uh, tools to work with to conduct these uh, field work of monitoring. Tongalung <laughs> ก็ตัวโอเคก็ก็ตัวไปงอเดไปเซเมนต์แล้วก็ก็ให้ฟังอ่ะเอเฮมเตโปรแกรมนี้ที่ไปเซเมนต์มาดูฟังอ่ะก
CBM is one of the, the, the key component that was identified um, that that will be benefit that the Tuvalu will be benefits from, um, especially for groundwater. Uh, we see value in it because it provides uh, capacity development for our, in particular, the youth to, to support the work to do community-based monitoring. We rely on, on the data that, that the um, field workers collect. Um, so it, it is important to, to get um, uh, results of, of the CBM that are done at different islands. It helps us to understand the, the situation um, and having them done on the island by the, the, the local communities, uh, it, it allows us to have um, regular up-to-date information uh, in terms of um, the quality, uh, the availability of, of groundwater in, in the different islands. Any data that come out of the, the CBM, the, the program, um, it, it, it's fundamental to all the planning and, and, and policy that the government is developing um, on, on different situations. Um, some are more general on, on managing uh, or water security and some are more prone or, or, or more prompt that we need to, to make different decisions to, to, to a situation where we'll go into a La Nina where we expect drought um, and then we need to make different decisions uh, but the, the, the data that comes out of the, the CBM is very important to, to assist us in, in that. I Ikonga konga, mo mene iko kona mo me kola iko malie ne ko mangalo iya tena ko ko ilo ne ne taki taki pene i ko ma fai o fai lo palani kia i ne henga te iko vai sameni ko ilo a te te uke vai sameni mo te uke ne ilo to te te alfa kio o o vai ilo to iya ma fai hoki ne ma to ilo a una o fa opo po kilo ngai te the remote islands of Tuvalu are benefiting from community-based monitoring approaches and technology to capture and share information for water resource management. This initiative enhances decision-making, empowers local communities and promotes sustainable water use. By fostering collaboration from the community level to the national government, CBM builds resilience and ensures water security for the future.